Good morning, hippies. Mmm. This would be my Stanley the Honey Badger mug. And uh, for those of you that are not familiar with action figure therapy, you should be in there. They just got a free plug. What's that you said? You want me to reach over and activate the asshole filter? Okay, I will. Bam! Asshole filter has been activated. Oh, it is rainy in the south. And for my southern brethren, I hope that you are high and dry. And I know that some of you aren't, but... Uh, we got sandbags stacked up at the uh, at the Casa, at the Casa de Markle. Is uh, the valuable areas are protected by sandbags right now? Jared, you got sandbags at your house, or you have a house on stilts? I have a house on stilts. Oh, there you go. So this is what's going on on YouTube. That's what's going on on YouTube. Are, are you doing like the show, the mirror, the mirror, and yeah, like that's infinity. How, well, that's what it is. Oh, that's what the YouTube video, yeah. it's updating? It decided that it wanted to update in the middle. That's nice. I didn't think it did that if it was unplugged, but maybe I don't know. Hmm. Well, welcome to Friday, welcome to Morning Mindset, and today we're going to talk about armed citizen toilet training, or potty training, whatever, you know, whatever you prefer. We've actually addressed this subject uh, several times. We, we were on with our friend Zeke and Marty, what, over like two years ago, at least, right? Yeah. It had to have been because you know why? We were in the old studio. When we were on when we were on Talking Lead with Zeke and Marty, we were in the old studio, and we've been in the new studio for over two years now. Oh wow! That's how long it's been. So, but uh, we have a lot of new gun carriers out there. I'm sure that you know a lot of people who just recently started carrying a gun, or who have had a concealed carry permit for years, but never actually carried, and now all of a sudden. They see that there are bad people out there that are just indiscriminately killing citizens, and they decided, hmm, I should start carrying my gun. Then they realize I have to carry it into the potty. Sometimes I have to make number two while I'm away from home in a public restroom. I know that's just disgusting, but uh, sometimes you have to do it. Making number one is easy, you know, at, least, at least for me. I don't know about you guys, but you know, for me it is. But. Are we ready to go ahead and begin, Jared? You want to just go ahead and yeah, just go ahead jump and into it? it. All right. I'll start the YouTube camera if I can later. Mm. Welcome to Morning Mindset. Welcome to Student of the Gun University. And today we're going to talk about armed citizen toilet training or what to do with your gun when you have to number two in public. Or not just necessarily in public, but anywhere away from your own home commode, your own home bathroom. I've been carrying a gun, uh, I've been an armed citizen, I've been an armed bodyguard, an armed cop, and I've been carrying a gun my entire adult life, basically, and I've had to figure this out. Now, one of the easiest things to do, if you're a cop and you have to do it, well, you, you just take your belt off, and you, you take all the stuff and you set it there so that it's within reach, you know, but if you're Johnny Armed Citizen and you just have like a gun and a holster on you, you don't want to just... Now, some people say, well, just leave it in a holster and leave it alone. And you can do that. Uh, that's something that you can do. You can just don't touch it, leave it in its holster, drop your trousers, and just let it be. But if you're wearing a, a, a good concealment holster that rides snug against your body and doesn't necessarily have a strap or a strap or, or a, you know, some kind of a retention device, some kind of a physical mechanical retention device, then that can be kind of a dicey operation because what happens is you drop it, then you do your business and you go to pull them up and the gun falls out and it bounces across the bathroom floor and it's just not a good deal. Uh, I would rather have it secure somewhere. Now, rather than talk about it here in the studio, oh, and P.S., you're probably wondering where my I got my awesome Boba Fett shirt. I got it. Does um, the A in the back? Yeah, you can see it. Okay. Atlas Defense. I got it from Atlas Defense. And uh, <laughs> if you buy this shirt, you can wear it in front of your wife, and she can say things like, is that some kind of a stormtrooper or something? Or why, do, why do people say they like your shirt? Why do people say they like your shirt? Is that like a stormtrooper? The correct answer to that is because I'm wearing it. <laughs> if you can... Mm. Let's just walk into the student of the gun men's room. How's that sound? Okay. Follow me, Mr. Camera. Mr. Camera's following me. 
I know, you're like, wow! This is like a behind the scenes. Yeah. Look at all the stuff and junk. Pocket lifesaver stuff. Pocket lifesaver stuff. Lobby stuff. Lights. Lights. Oh, right. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. I'll be over here. Yeah, here we go. If you're not sure, check between your legs. But I am sure. I am sure. All right. So, if you're in one of those small bathrooms, whoa, I know what I'm doing. Just follow me, camera. Don't give me directions. If you're in one of those small bathrooms and uh, you can reach the sink, it's just like the toilet and the sink and you and you can lock the door and nobody can come in on you. If that's the case, well, what I've done previously is I've done this. I've just taken my gap, put it in the sink, done my business. And why would I do that? Because I can't leave and forget my gun. I'm like, oh, my gun's in the sink. There you go. Let me put that away and take it with me. Unless you don't wash your hands. Unless you don't wash your hands. Wash your freaking hands. If you're walk, if you're a man and you're walking out of the bathroom without washing your hands, you're a nasty sob, and you are fired from student of the gun. Don't come in yet. Okay. Okay, okay you can come in now. The ladies can enter now. <clears throat> All right. Maybe you're very fortunate and you have one of these super flat toilet paper dispensers. You can either put it like this, or you can put it like that. Either way, do your stuff. I'm done. Pick up my gun, put it away. If there's nothing, let's just say God hates you or these modern architects that make everything sloped and curved inside the stall, don't you hate those people? Yes, I hate them too. Uh, <clears throat> so there's no shelf, there's nothing. What can you do? Well, you could do an acrobat trick. You can be very coordinated. Drop your trousers and set your gun right here. See, kind of like right there. Like I said, if you have a security holster on and you feel like just dropping your pants and letting the gun sit on the ground, what, what does Ayub say? Put your underwear up over your pants, you, over your gun you to hold it in. Yeah, you can put your, you can like. Put, pull your underwear band up over the top of your gun and slide it all down and then, you know, you can do that if you want to, that's cool. I, quite frankly, I prefer to just go ahead and secure it there, do my stuff, get up, finish my stuff, put my gun away, drive on. <clears throat> A re uh, really good place, if you're in one of those handy capable stalls or one of the big ones, like in a public bathroom, Knock, knock. If you're in the big stall and it has one of these and it's within reach, I really like using these. We got the stalls right there and I do my business. Get my gun out of there. Baby changing tables are fantastic. The one thing I would advise you against, and we don't have one in here, but let, imagine that this is one. People will take their guns and they will stick them into those toilet seat cover dispensers, they'll slide them down in there, and then they'll get up and dress themselves and they'll walk right on out because the gun is basically hidden, they don't see it, they get distracted, they get a phone call, and they walk out. A lot of guns get left behind in the toilet lid covers, uh, or the toilet seat cover dispensers. I, I don't really like that, that's not really one of my favorite things. Oh, also. Evan, this is, you want to do this one? So, yeah, Evan says that they slope everything so that people won't do coke off of it. I hate the world. <laughs> All right, come on in. Oh, you're inside. Oops. Inside. No. Most regular bathrooms, most, you know, public johns don't have a lid because they don't want people screwing with it. But if you're in a conventional one where it has a flat lid, that is an option. Now, I'm, I'm, this is, I'm gonna take a dangerous step, Jared. But you know what? I can, because I'm secure in my masculinity. Now, 
You see this situation right here? Bloop, bloop, bloop. I know, I know, it's crazy. It's but, crazy. but what if you need to get your gun? Yeah, you pull the but one out you of your get? pull the one out of your pocket. Pull the one out from because I'm because you wear it too. Uh, you carry two. If, if you carry two of them. If you are in a, if you're, if you go to a gun site, gun site actually have has pegs. Have you, have you ever been to gun site and seen the pegs? They have pegs. It says nine and forty five, and you take your gun out and you stick it on the peg. Uh, maybe if you you could do that at home, put a peg on there. Right. Uh, you think what think that's good enough? Here's the deal. Have a plan. Most important thing, keep your finger away from the bang switch, okay? Keep your finger away from the bang switch, mind your muzzle, have a plan, take your time, put your gun somewhere where you're not going to just run out and forget it, and you should be good. All right, that's it for Morning Mindset. Thank you to everybody, you and you and you and you, who joined us this week on Facebook and YouTube Live. Is that what we're calling it, YouTube Live? YouTube Live. Uh, we announced the Five Strategies book, Five Strategies Can Save Your Life. Uh, go to studentofthegun.com right now. Can they still go to Student of the Gun? Yep. Yep. Go to studentofthegun.com right now and check it out. Next week we have another announcement, so pay close attention. Uh, radio show, five times a week. TV show, books, all that good stuff. Go to studentofthegun.com, get started. It's as easy as that. Cool. Can we sign out from the bathroom? Well, we'll walk back out. Okay. The, the tools are going to be really excited about this one right here. Where is the hook? Boom, there it is. Uh. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Right. Lights. I actually got the YouTube camera for me. Yeah, look at this crap. It's not too bad now. No, it's not It's not too bad, but the it's... road been... flooded? Nope. Yeah, oh, yeah, it is. Is it? Oh yeah, that's underwater. Oh. Yeah, it's underwater. Hey, there we are. Yep. We're walking. That's crazy. Woohoo! All right. Now Jared can put his his cameras back on their stands and. We can thank you for joining us, and uh, like I said, if you're our southern brethren, we hope that you're staying dry this weekend. Take no, care. No hand washing. You touch stuff. I don't think I ever. Yeah. Shut, shut up! All right, any questions? Q&A. How do you cut a watermelon? That's right. No half measures. see the glass cave of motion that's that's reserved for a later date or for people that come here <laughs> no questions there's no questions everybody knows everything we can go ahead and sign off now you think yeah all right kids talk to you later have a good weekend bye